What's up guys, it's your boy Beatty, back again with another video. In my last vlog type video, I got a lot of questions about the, the steak I cooked. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how to make it. And in addition to the steak, I'm gonna show you guys how to make homemade fries. All right, so it's like potato, I guess like, you can call it potato wedges, you can call it fries, however. It's gonna be like a thicker cut, so it's gonna be, you know, a little bigger. It's just, just a way to spice up your, your meals. I know potatoes and rice can uh, might get boring for some people, so to spice it up, make french fries, right? And it's made in an oven, so it's not like deep fried or anything like that. It's not going to be oily as hell, nothing like that, so um, hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'm going to be using uh, filet mignon. Obviously, you don't have to use that. You don't have to get fancy, per se, or you can get fancier. If you want to get fancier, you can get fancier if you want. You know, if you want to use a, a Wagyu, you can do that too, but... Um, you could do like a T-bone. You can do a you can do a ribeye, something like that. You still want it to be a quality piece of steak. You don't want no cheap shit, you know. Like you don't want no like overly cheap piece of steak because it's not gonna taste good. You know, you want decent quality. For those of you who have Trader Joe's, you can even go to Trader Joe's and get a fillet or a ribeye or something like that. So I'm gonna show you guys that a little bit later. First, I gotta eat meal one. Hope you guys enjoy this video. guys meal number one we got a cup and a half of egg whites I know it looks like whole eggs but it's actually um thing I think it's called um, egg beaters and it's basically egg whites with some um I forget the ingredient but something to make it a little more fluffy and give it some color basically so still you know zero fat and just all protein basically and we got two ships of turkey bacon we have a uh, Trader Joe's bagels which are kind of like smaller a little bit smaller than the average bagel so it's about 40, 47, 48 grams of carbs here. We got some cream cheese. We got some everything bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's on it. So that's gonna be meal number one. See you guys for meal number two. What's up guys? So I'm gonna uh, walk you through this whole steak cooking thing showing you the ingredients obviously you need the piece of steak you need the uh grapeseed oil i mean any kind of oil that's uh has a high heating heating temperature you got some black pepper you got some salt the salt is optional i don't really eat salt like that sea salt from Trader, Trader Joe's. got some garlic powder there got the rosemary fresh rosemary you got fresh rosemary and you got come on now keep moving you got some fresh thyme there we go and that's the ingredients you need man so we're gonna season it now sound off the black pepper you see me put some seasoning on the side and a few you'll you understand why i do that in a couple seconds there we go so I did that because you want to make sure you get the seasoning all over all the corners of the steak get the sides nice and seasoned to get a fully seasoned steak it's gonna taste a lot better that way now I flipped it season the other side get the pan ready on high heat don't don't put the steak till it's hot put the oil got the grapeseed oil on the pan you want to bring the that oil to a boil so smoke should be coming out and you throw in the thyme and rosemary move it around get the juices flowing get the pan ready for the steak boom see how that jumped at me real quick so you got to be careful because it's going to be oily so you don't want the oil to jump and you know burn you so you got to be careful with that i will try to get you a little sizzle in there for you know a little sizzle in there we're going to do two minutes each side Sometimes you might need a little more oil because you wanted the flavors from the rosemary and thyme to, you know, seep into the, the steak. So it has to be nice and oily for you to be able to move it around and get the juices touching, you know. We're going to do two minutes each side. Get a nice sear on the steak. So 
I'm gonna go for the flip. Boom. Once again, be careful. The oil gonna jump at you. So beware of that. Now I'm gonna still continue to swirl it around, get the juices flowing. Two minutes on that side as well. I threw it into the oven on 450. Uh, I like it medium well. So for medium well, I, I throw it in there for uh, on 450 for about four and a half minutes, sometimes four minutes, something like that. If you want it well, leave it a little longer, like five minutes. When I'm done, I cover the steak to keep it nice and warm while I get the fries ready. Showing you my ingredients, potato, some kind of oil, garlic powder again, we got paprika, we got some turmeric on. Obviously you gotta shave the potato. Some people leave the skin on. I'm not a fan of the skin thing. I like to peel off the, the skin. There we go. Nice and bald. I'm gonna slice it up into these little like wedges, I guess you could call it. I like to cut it in half and then I slice each half into maybe uh, four, four pieces. The long way, obviously. Nobody want no short ass, weird looking fries, so. There we go. Now you're gonna season it, throw the salt on there, garlic powder, paprika, some turmeric. That turmeric, it adds a nice color to it. Then you wanna lightly oil it. And then uh, swirl it around, get it nice and mixed up. Don't be scared to get your hands dirty. You know, I see a lot of people cooking and they scared to get down and dirty with it. You gotta get. You gotta get a little messy. Look at that. Swirl it, yeah. Swirl it around. Get all the sides going. All the sides going. And then you spread it out with a baking sheet, and um, it's the same. Uh, it's gonna be the same. The same heat on the oven. It's gonna be 450. So that definitely helps because you, you can kind of you know prepare at the same time. So throw it in there. Boom. 450 heat. And then I leave it in there for 15 minutes. Take it out and I flip each you know fry you don't want one burnt side looking like two face and nothing like that so you flip it around a little bit and you throw it back in there for another 15 minutes so usually about 25 30 minutes like kind of depends how uh, how thin or how thick you cut it but that usually gets the job done right there so it's all done go ahead and plate your food the steak is nice and warm because you kept it covered and warm and boom, there you go. Alright guys, so that's meal number two. I'ma down this, then I'ma hit the gym. Today we got quads, alright? And I believe today is my heavy squat day, so I'm gonna push the weight a little bit. I'ma see you guys at the gym. Two seconds later. I just made a shake. This meal number three is gonna be post workout. It's three scoops of whey protein, so about 75 grams of protein. And I got some PB2 powder in there just to add some uh, some flavor, change the flavor up a little bit. You'll notice my meals are a little bit different now, just cause uh, I'm cutting now. So I'm trying to drop weight, uh, get get lean, not contest shredded or anything, but get pretty lean. Have like a decent set of abs and whatnot. So you'll notice my carbs are lower. I used to have the serious mass in here. And I used to have about probably a hundred, maybe a hundred grams of carbs, something like that per shake. Now it's just all whey protein. See you guys at the gym.
All right, guys, so I'm back home now. About to eat meal number four. It's basically gonna be 10 ounces of salmon. You got six ounces of white rice. You got some pineapple sauce on there. You got four ounces of broccoli. All right, so that's gonna be meal number four. Down the hatch, and then uh, I'll see you guys for meal number five. Probably gonna have only five meals today, so catch you guys for meal number five. Alright guys, last meal of the day, check it out. I got 270 grams of Greek yogurt, got two packets of Splenda, I got about 100 grams of blueberries, and I have about 50 grams of strawberries in there. And I'm gonna wash that down with three scoops of whey protein with a scoop of PB2 powder for some extra flavor. As you guys can see, quite a bit different from my last day of eating video where I was having uh, about 8,000 calories and just a bunch of food. I'm actually glad to be eating less and to be eating cleaner. My stomach feels so much better and I feel lighter on my feet. I just feel, I feel great, you know, even though I'm still, you know, morning weight, maybe 288. I'm still pretty heavy, but everybody's different. Like I hold 280s very well, whereas somebody 280s could be like extremely uncomfortable. You know, when I go over 300, that's when I start feeling a little, I mean, I feel comfortable, but my digestion feels a little slow and I don't really like the way I look, you know what I'm saying? I start feeling fat and uncomfortable and stuff. So, so that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this in the future. If you like the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Leave some comments in the comment section for any kind of videos you guys want to see in the future. Turn on the post notifications and share the video with your friends. Help me grow my channel, guys, and I'll keep the content coming. Email me for coaching at babyfall at iCloud.com. Or just if you want to ask me any questions, feel free to email me as well. Or shoot me a DM on Instagram at babyfall on Instagram. Till next time, peace. Dang.